Hello everyone. In today's Basics of Geometry series, we are going to learn about a very important concept, lines and angles. This is a very important concept and it is a base for most of the angle problems. So, you can see here there are two parallel lines. Another line is intersecting these two lines and forming eight angles. So, you can see here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 are the eight angles. Just by having a data of one angle, we can find all other angles. I'll show you how. In this figure, angle 2 is given to be 60 degree. So, angle 2 is equal to angle 3. What concept we are using here? Vertically opposite angles. When two lines intersect each other, the angles formed on the opposite sides are always equal. So, based on that, 3 will be 60 degree. Now, 3 and 4 angles, you can see here it is forming a straight line. That is, it is forming 180 degrees. We call it as linear pair. So, according to that concept, angle 3 plus angle 4 is equal to 180 degrees. So, we already know angle 3 is 60 degrees. So, 60 degree plus angle 4 is equal to 180. So, angle 4 is equal to 120. So, now this is 120. Again, by using vertically opposite angle, this also will be 120. So, we found out all the four angles here. Next concept. Since angle 2 is equal to 60 degree, angle 6 also will be equal to 60 degree. Angle 2 is equal to 60, we know. So, angle 6 is also equal to 60 degree. How is it? This concept is called as corresponding angles. That means when a line is intersecting other line, these two are corresponding angles. So, they both will always be same. So, now 6 is also 60 degree. This is 60 degree. So, 7 will also be 60 degree because they are vertically opposite. Again, using the same concept, angle 8 is 120. So, using the same concept of vertically opposite angles, angle 5 will also be 120. This way, using these three concepts of vertically opposite angles, corresponding angles and linear pair, we are able to find all the eight angles. Thank you.